What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today we are going to be checking out the brand new Umi Digi X. Now this smartphone is priced around $200 and will give you pretty decent features for the price which include a triple camera, large battery, NFC and audio jack and lots more. So today we will indeed find out how good the smartphone really is by undergoing a series of real-time hardware and software tests which include disk speeds, benchmarks, gaming, camera and lots more. So without any further ado, let's get started. First of all we're going to run a boot up speed test, I've got my timer ready, the smartphone is switched completely off and we will start the timer as soon as we see the Umi Digi logo, so here we go. Timer started. So this smartphone took 29 seconds to fully load to the home screen. And now we're going to be testing out the internal storage speeds, so here we go. And here are your results, we have read speeds of 220 and write speeds of 203. And here is CPU-Z where you can check out the clock speeds and you can see it's the Helio P60 clocked at 1.99 GHz and you can see we're running the Mali G7 II and if we click on device you can see the model Umi Digi X and the RAM is 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM with 128 gigabytes of internal storage so plenty of RAM and storage. If we click on system, it's Android version 9 Pi. And this is a stock Android experience and the device does not come rooted as standard. Now if we check out the DRM info, the Umi DGX supports Google Widevine level three, which means you have a maximum 480p resolution on Netflix. And if you're wondering about YouTube, you can stream a maximum of 720p on YouTube. So moving on now to the sound test, so let's play some music. Now this smartphone has a single loudspeaker at the bottom, but the sound is relatively loud and clear. Now in the 5 GHz Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 65 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. And if we run the same test on a 2 GHz network, we achieved 43 megabits per second download and 18 megabits per second upload. Next up, GPS test. So this is an indoor GPS test and we've turned off the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so this is testing only the device's GPS capability. So let's see how quickly we can obtain a fix. Now do bear in mind this is an indoor test. It did take around 30 seconds to obtain a fix. So not the fastest GPS but it does work. Now moving on to the gaming test and we have to begin with of course Call of Duty Mobile. Now to my surprise you do have an in-display fingerprint sensor and as you can see it does a pretty good job at unlocking the smartphone fast and accurately every single time. Now this smartphone also has face unlock and I will test that out for you guys right now. And you can see you have a very fast face unlocking as well. So a fast in-display fingerprint sensor and face unlock on this smartphone. Now this smartphone has a triple camera setup. You have a 48 megapixel main sensor, eight megapixel ultra wide, and a five megapixel macro. And on the front you have a 16 megapixel selfie camera. And quick look at all the options. You've got short video, slow motion, video, photo, 48 megapixels, you've got portrait mode, and panorama. 
Now a quick look at video settings, you can shoot a maximum of 1080p video with electronic image stabilization. And if we go into photo settings, you can shoot a maximum of 48 megapixels. So here are some sample photos and videos for you guys to check out. cold windy day this is what the quality looks like I'm going to zoom in now optical zoom two times so that's two times optical zoom and let's zoom back out so that's 1080p video quality So that brings us to our benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench, single core, 288, and we have a multi-core score of 1324. Now in the Anto 2 benchmark test, we achieved a total score of 162K. So let's see how this compares with the others. And here is my top performing smartphone chart of 2020. And to get us started, I have some of the highest performing smartphones from last year. And if we add the brand new Umi Digi X to this chart, it would take position 13 with an Antutu score of 162K. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys. That was my hands-on speed testing of the Umi Digi X. And this is how I see it. Based on my tests, I've given this smartphone an 8.1 out of 10. This is a very capable budget smartphone which is trying quite hard to be a flagship. I would call it somewhere in the middle a budget to mid-range handset priced at only 219 Now for the low price you're getting many highlights, some of which include AMOLED display, NFC, fast charging, micro SD expansion, big battery, lots of cameras and the list goes on. So breaking into the mid-range smartphone category the Umi Digi X certainly leaves its mark as a capable smartphone, especially for the low selling price. Let me know what you guys think of this smartphone in the comments below. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.